All right, so I'm going to show you how to install Taquito script for Mac. I'm just doing a voiceover of what I did for the installation. So I really just went to my video so I can go to his channel and then I can go click on the Apple Mac video. So I just go to like the videos, I think. And then we go to the Mac video right there. And from here, I go down, scroll down to his GitHub link. And then once we go there, we should be going to the first link where the Mac download is. Make sure it says uh, Mac. It'll be the second one right there. And I use the 2.5.11 version for the version I'm going to install. I want to install it on DaVinci Resolve Studio 18.6. It should work on non-studio versions as well, but that's just the version I'm on here. I have it downloaded into my folder and I unzip it in there. And then now I'm going to transfer these files into my documents folder. I'm just going to copy it. And then I have, I made a, another documents folder in my folder. It's called DaVinci Resolve Items or just other stuff to save. And then I'm just going to copy in, or I'm going to make a new folder in that section. Well, Taquito's script and then I want to paste what I just copied over from the downloads folder and then from there we need to go and download Python off the internet it's just it should be just python.org and then we're gonna to go to the downloads or releases and then we're gonna search for version 3.10.11 should be that one right there and then we're gonna click it it's gonna download the installer and we're just gonna download that and then I'm just gonna open this up in my downloads folder and it's gonna give us a path on you know how to install it just click through it install agree and all that stuff I think you're gonna to need to maybe put your password for a certain part so I just do that right there and then that's going to install. So now I'm gonna go back to where I installed Taquito script at, and I'm gonna go over to the main section. And so we're gonna to go to Python setup or setup Python, and we're gonna run this. And that's gonna give us a pop-up saying, uh, we don't know the identifier or, or we don't know the dev of this document, so we're not going to run it. So we need to go to our settings and go to our privacy settings, privacy and security. If we go down to the bottom, it shows the last thing that we tried to run, which is the Python setup. And we're just gonna hit allow it to run. We need to put in our password or authentication, and we're gonna open it. and then it's going to run our Python right here. And it's going to run, it's going to run, and then we're going to have like a little error. No worry, we're all good. We just need to install Clang, which is its own uh, program as well, or it's like an add-on for code. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but just go through that. It just gives us some developer tools. We just agreed to this document right here, and then we will start the installation. Uh, I, I wasn't connected to power at this point, so it's going to pop up with a thing of, would you like to use power? I'm like, I'm just going to download it anyway. And for me, it'll take a little bit. It took about, I think, four or five minutes but it depends on your internet. And so once that is done, hopefully it's done, then we're going to just run that script again. So set up Python. And now if we run through it all, it should work. And now it is set up successfully. So now we can go down to this command script right here and then run that again. But of course we need to go to our security and privacy again, so we can run that again. So there we go, run it. And now we have uh, his launcher set up. And if you remember from the Windows video that we actually need to link our resolve to our launcher here. So we're gonna hit resolve launcher. Then we, this is gonna pop up. We're gonna open resolve itself. And then once that opens up, I'm just going to open it in the untitled project that's over there. And then if we go up to workspace and go down to console, that's gonna open the console where we need to drag that green into that console. And there's a problem like when you try and do that, it goes away, which is dumb. So you need to do that command tab and then drop it in like that and then it'll work. And then we can close out of this project and then go and open up our resolve from that panel, which is what we're gonna need to do in order to activate the script. And then it should launch just like that. All right, so now we can go check and just open a fusion composition. You can probably just check workspace. And then if this says RS, that means it works because there's a, there's a script where this says RS. But I go into here, type in comp utility, which is the other script that he has and everything is there. All right, one last thing we're gonna do is make an alias or a shortcut basically I'm gonna right click that command line we're gonna make alias and I'm just gonna drag that to our desktop so you have easy access to it when we want to open resolve and yeah there we go